Freaking tomato oh, sauce yeah. all over you. Let's embrace it. The warts. That warts and all. Cringe. So I've just explained to Fanette what warts and all means in Australia. How, you know, like we we record our memoirs for us and not for, you know, the followers. Um, even though it's just so beautiful, the yeah. beautiful friends we made in the internet. But our journey's our journey. It's warts and all. And the day, you know, on your journey when you kind of go, well, yeah, I look shit in that picture because I didn't have a fucking good night's sleep because I was worried about getting eaten by a croc. Oh, yeah, and today, bite. bloody mauled by <laughs> insect bites. <laughs> you know what? This is our journey. And we sexy. Warts and all. <laughs> At our feral best. <laughs> Here's to the adventure. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> ah, chores, housework sucks, eh? <laughs> you do your yoga, you got good balance. So keep walking on the narrow log. Come around and put your foot up on the side of this one. You won't fall. No, on this log. <laughs> Come on, little monkey. <laughs> It's not elegant, but it's effective. <laughs> oh, funny. You're so funny. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh, this one's a bit narrow. Balance beam. Take me back to my gymnastics days when I was 14. This last one should get us to the edge. Or we can just walk straight through the water. Beautiful. Oh. Yoga. Ah. <laughs> Carry on. I think it's deep straight from this side. Maybe if we just swim out there. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven. <laughs> Alright, you go ahead.
where the deep pool is? Oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Once you get in, it's like going for it. Freezes your flappers. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? It's actually too hot to get undressed, do a swim, and get dressed again. So we're going to keep moving. Go to Nana and uh, get our supplies. And I know there's a beautiful forest to the north east of Nana and also the southeast. Save my air filter. Um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> and cooked so good. Nom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yummy. Oh, yummy, yummy. I wonder if I taste like one. <laughs> It's probably too hard. Break, your, break a tooth on you. <laughs> too tough. <laughs> too tough. Yay! Back on the trails again. North, north, east of Nana. water first and then just keep riding around until we're knackered and then set up camp because there's so many trails around here to explore yeah yeah I earmarked as a good camp spot as well. Oh, yeah, it had a yeah, it had a beach and had some oh, rocks. But okay. well, we can check it out later. Did you see the emu as you came in? What? The emu. Oh, well, it was only two meters to your left. Oh, yeah, just running through here. I was like, oh, it was, it was gonna run into you, and then he turned turn around.
where there was a beach. That was nice. Is it a swim walk on the water? Do you want to have a little ride around first? I'll mark it. Just do my nana no no turn so I don't drop the bitch. Sorry Artemis, I don't mean to call you a bitch. You're not a bitch. <laughs> that was a pretty forest. Means have a rest. <laughs> efficient parking, so. Yeah, very efficient parking. <laughs> and slow with no legs does not work. Ah. Ah. Thank you, darling. Oh, that hurts my sunburn. Um, so I don't know if the other spot has as much flowing water. Let's go and have a look. Let's go see what the water's like down there. Ah. I'll see, it's good now that my bike has sunk into the sand. I think I can get my foot flat there and almost flat there. Soft sand. Woo! Yeah, that's this is more off the road or off the trail. a bit weighted down by that um, coffee cake and the burger and the, and the steak burger and the chips oh, that was a relatively deep spot and we can sort of always swim back out Cedar Summit shower bag towel Annette's camp my camp and Adamus Still heavy. <laughs> Gosh! <laughs> Did you have a nice pig. ride, darling? There are three pigs there. Oh, they're pigs, they're okay. Pigs. So the one I heard then is a big boar. Right. It's a big boar. How big were they? Not too big. Not too big, but the one that I heard. They look strong. Yeah, the one that I heard when I was walking up that way was a bigger boar because, oh. yeah, he sounded quite nasty. Yeah, it reminded yeah. me when I used to go trekking through the bush. With my bow. And, uh, emus. emus. Kangaroos. Kangaroos. Yep. Yeah, you've been gone for an hour. This is what I've done. <laughs> this is what I've done. Yeah, beautiful. I literally took every... Every trail. <laughs> every trail. I even created you. And I, I went over lugs. Yay! I was shitting myself on a foot. Give it a whirl. Yeah. 
It's so much nicer when you don't have gear on your bike, hey? Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. We're good. <sighs> All right. Broccoli and mushrooms for dinner. Okay. Well, I had my fix. I feel better. You feel good. Now I can have a shower. Relax. Yes. <laughs> All right. Helen back by God knows how many different insects. <laughs> and then, okay, have I got a story to tell. So last night I made us a beautiful bloody couscous dinner with a full broccoli and mushrooms and we're sitting down enjoying the meal and um, having a little camp light on and, and I thought it was a march fly buzzing around it so I gave it a good flick, thought I'd killed it. Anyway, carried on eating my meal and then I felt, ah, uh, something on my tongue and I thought well I didn't put chili in it but it kind of hurt and I puh, puh, spat it out not thinking anything of it and then the burn kicked in and I went oh I think I've bloody bitten, bitten something or something's bitten me and then I thought oh okay maybe um you know the the march fly whatever I've eaten killed it flicked it in my food eating it turns out it was a bee but I didn't realize that I grabbed an antihistamine straight away because it was starting to really burn so I had the antihistamine within 10 minutes. Ah, that whole side of my uh, tongue was swollen and my lips were tingling and I broke out in full body hives, which I bloody don't ever recall having. And I was like, oh, this is not good. So panic stations kicked in and my tongue started getting bigger and bigger and hot sweats. Yeah, it was full on. I thought, oh, here we go. It was a bee and definitely it stung me in the tongue. So I um, started writing down the notes, so my head was in a bit of a panic, but I was still pretty cool, calm, collected. So my, um, my, in my head, I started writing notes of when the bite happened and when I took the antihistamine and what my blood type was and looked up on the map where the nearest hospital was, 50 kilometres away, Bustleton. And uh, in, meanwhile, while my head was sort of panicking, I always listened to my gut instinct and my gut was cool, calm, collected and telling me it was all right even like two hours later when I'm laying in bed and my tongue was so big, couldn't even close my mouth, and uh, but I could still breathe through my nose. So yeah, just lay down and stop the lymphatic system from moving so fast and get my heart rate down and, and give the antihistamine a chance to kick in and yeah, just kind of made it through the night. <laughs> So, panicking yeah, inside. poor Finette was panicking. She kept asking, Rose, are you okay? You are alive? I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah. <I wasn't> there. <laughs> <laughs> and I kept taking video of my tongue to see, you know, I thought if the swelling gets right across the other side, then I'm in big trouble. And it did, but still my intuition told me I'd be okay. So, yeah, made it through the night, lived to tell the tale. And uh, the adventure continues. Yay. Carry on. Yay. <laughs> live, live to tell the tale. <laughs>
here, doll? Oh, mirrors. Bit of a mirror freak. Okay, up this big lump. Woohoo! got more water yeah so I'm gonna make my way towards Pemberton oh, I know my favorite huts in here somewhere but anyway I'll just just work my way go and hit the trails starting there let's go we're on the road again I can feel my double chin from the Thompson yeah thank god the swelling's gone down in my mouth Woo. That was a bit, a bit hair raising. from my little excursion with the bee last night <laughs> so just stopped in the beautiful tall timbers and dropped in some waypoints just to zigzag my way all the way down and I think I might go to my favorite little hidden hut tonight we'll see anyway zigzag 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 that's all I want to do just keep riding in the beautiful tall timbers Heaven. Get off that highway. Well road. Well, well, well. Let's see what's down here. Up. A bit too big for me to jump that. <laughs> oh. Kev, I will get to use the Gone Boy Silky one of these days. Just need something a bit smaller. <laughs> oh, it's funny. little water holes like this throughout the whole area. Oh, you could easily swim in that.
myself and gone, nah. Yeah, this is going to be one of those roads. beautiful little campsite just around here. It's bloody beautiful. This is it. Look at this little magical spot. already set up my little picnic table can't do a fire but doesn't matter another little table and it's right next to the running river so I can actually hear the water running and the water's clean on the side beautiful all right time to get wet
Artemis having a rest. Good girl. Shower set up, tent set up. Time for swim, swim. Let's go. Heaven, <laughs> what a great way to end the day. <laughs>